All right, so I just bought my own game from myself on a platform that I built in two hours. And here's the crazy part. I was working actively on it for only 30 minutes. And the rest of the time, I was literally playing mobile games while an AI agent built it for me. And it actually works. Let me show you how this happened. So I've been making mobile games for several years now and something bothered me. I always wanted to make a marketplace where developers can buy and sell their games. A platform where sellers can list their games with all the important data – revenue, screenshots, player metrics, links to the actual games in Google Play, and buyers can browse, contact sellers, and make deals. But here's the problem. Building something like this in the traditional way, you're looking at weeks or even months of work. Authentication systems, databases, payment processing, real-time chat, image hosting – it's a lot. And I have never done any of that before. So I decided to try Emergent as they reached out to me to sponsor this video. Emergent is the AI agent that actually builds real applications. Not prototypes, not mockups, actual working code that you can deploy. Traditional development time, weeks or months, with Emergent 2 hours total and 30 minutes of my time. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. Ok, so I opened up Emergent and just described what I wanted in plain English. No technical specs, no documentation. I wrote, I want to create a platform where users sell and buy each other's mobile games. Sellers get links from Google Play, create posts with the revenue data and game metrics using screenshots from analytics tools. The buyers browse these posts, select game they want to buy and contact the sellers. There's a chat where they can talk. That's it. That was the whole brief. And instead of just going, OK, starting to build, Emergent asked me to clarify some things. And this is smart. Question 1. Authentication. Do I want Google social login for quick setup or custom email and password? 2. Chat functionality. Real time with WebSocket or simple messaging where you refresh to see new messages. 3. Payment handling. Should the platform just facilitate contact or actually integrate a payment processor like Stripe? And 4. Screenshots uploads. How many should sellers be allowed? 3 to 5, up to 10, or whatever. So I just replied with letters A, B, B, A, like a simple choice test. And it got it. It understood exactly what I meant. Then I just started building. While it was doing that, I downloaded a few games in Google Play and started playing. Seriously, I just let it work. About 15 minutes later, I checked how it was doing. The basic platform was there. Users could log in with Google, create listings, add text and links. Ok, so then I hit the message limit in the conversation. Emergent suggested forking to a new thread to continue. I just said yes. And that's when everything broke. Internal server error. The whole platform just stopped working. Now, in normal development, this is where you'd spend hours debugging. You'd be digging through logs, checking database migrations, trying to figure out what changed. But Emergent immediately analyzed the situation. It wrote, based on the context, I understand you have a mobile game marketplace. Recent changes added genre and screenshot URL fields to game listings. The app is currently broken with internal server error due to all database listings missing the genre field. It diagnosed the problem in seconds. All data in the database didn't have the new genre field, so when the backend tried to load it, validation failed. Then it created a plan. Phase 1. Fix the critical bug by adding the default value of genre. Phase 2. Verify the new features actually work. Phase 3. Complete the Stripe payment integration. And before doing that, it asked if it should proceed. This isn't just a code generator. It's thinking through the problem like a real developer would. I told it to go ahead and fix everything. And I continued playing games and left it for 15-20 minutes. When I came back, the bugs were fixed. Everything was working again. But then I had another idea. I wrote, can you make it so it takes screenshots directly from Google Play and uses them as thumbnails for listings? Think about the user experience here. Right now, sellers have to manually upload screenshots. But if they are listing a game that's already in Google Play, those screenshots already exist. And it didn't just say, OK, I'll add that. It asked me to think through the implementation. When should screenshots be fetched? How do we handle the input? Put replace manual upload entirely, keep it as a fallback or allow both, how many screenshots to fetch, all available, just first three or let users select. And what's the technical approach, web scraping or third-party API? Then it made a recommendation, fetch first five screenshots, allow manual override if needed, that's a good UX pattern. I just replied, yeah, do that and also allow users to upload additional screenshots if they want. 
I continued playing games and left it alone for like 15-20 minutes. Emergent was working. When I checked back, the feature was done, but I wanted one more thing. Can you add the ability to remove the screenshots that were fetched and increase the total limit to 10 screenshots? Done. 15 minutes later, it sent me complete summary. Google Play screenshots auto-fetch feature implemented with backend endpoints, web scraping, error handling, front-end with loading indicators, manual removal, and 21 out of 21 backend tests passed. At this point, we are about two hours in. I've spent maybe 30 minutes total typing and thinking about new features. The rest? Emergent been building while I live my life. But now comes the real test. Does it actually work? Okay, so the theory is one thing, but I need to know that this actually works in practice. So I'm going to test it the way the real user would. First, I'm logging in as a seller using my Google account. Now I'm going to create a listing for one of my actual games. Let me grab one, King's Landing. That's a game I developed. I paste in the Google Play link and look, the screenshots are automatically fetched from the store page. That's pretty cool. I can remove the ones I don't want, just hover and click the X. Now I'm uploading some revenue screenshots from my Yoda Mass and Mediation dashboard and some metrics from Google Play Console. Let me copy the description directly from Play Store and paste that in. Set the price, let's say $3,000. Monster revenue about $5,000. Jenner is idle arcade game. Perfect. Publishing and it's live. There's my game on the home page. Okay, now I'm logging out and signing in with a different Google account. I'm a buyer now. Looking to purchase a game. Let me browse through the available games. All right, there is King's Landing. I want to buy this one. I can see all information, screenshots, revenue, data, the seller's contact. There's a chat button. Let me send a message. Hi, I'm interested in buying your game. Is it still available? Okay, logging back in as the seller. I got notification, there's a message. Let me reply, yes, it's available. I can transfer the game to you once the payment is secured. By the way, I asked Emergent to add this payment security feature earlier. It holds the transaction until both parties confirm. Perfect, the seller replied. Now I'm clicking the buy button as the buyer. It's taking me to Stripe checkout. This is the real Stripe integration. I'm using their test card for the documentation. Any future date expiry, any CVC, processing and payment successful. The platform shows the game has been purchased. Let me check my seller account. And yes, on the seller side it shows game as sold. It works, like actually works. The whole flow, listing, browsing, messaging, payment, everything functions like a real production app. But wait, there is more. Emergent can push the entire project to GitHub with one click. I'm clicking push to GitHub, it's creating the repository, committing all the code, pushing everything, and there it is. A complete repository with organized folders, front-end, back-end, database schemas, everything documented. And then I can deploy it directly from Emergent. It handles all configuration, environment variables, hosting setup. Just click deploy and we are live. Production ready in two hours. This is insane. Okay, let's talk about what actually happened here. Because I think there's something important to understand. Total time, two hours. My active time, 30 minutes. Those 30 minutes were right in the initial requirements. The other 90 minutes, that was emerging building, setting up authentication, creating database schemas, building front-end components, integrating Stripe, implementing the Google Play scraper, debugging errors, running tests. And here is what I want you to understand. This isn't about replacing developers. I am still a developer. I made all product decisions. I understood what was being built. I tested everything, but instead of spending a week on infrastructure and cold, I spent 30 minutes directing an AI agent to build it for me. This platform is production ready. I could launch it today. In fact, I will probably experiment with it see if there is real demand, and if there is, I can iterate fast because I'm not bottlenecked by implementation time. Tools like Emergent just change the game. If you want to try Emergent yourself, there is a link in the description below the video. And if you find this interesting, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content on game development, monetization, and things like that, like I shared in this video. And have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.